legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. State lawmakers don't have the power to impeach state attorneys, but the Speaker of the House has said they would have already started the process against Orlando-based Aramis Alea if they had the authority. Instead, they're looking at cutting the circuit's budget by at least $1.3 million. Is this a message to her? or Absolutely not. And, and in fact, uh, as we reviewed the budget, we determined that uh, in uh, the uh, prior fiscal year that there had been more money, more dollars appropriated than, as it turned out, were uh, necessary. The Senate is looking at similar cuts or more. Uh, using that reduction to set up a fund to cover the additional caseload to other circuits. Senator David Simmons calls the action appropriate. Uh, I think it's a statement that is made uh, concerning the, uh, uh, the conduct of that, uh, uh, that state attorney. All of which has Democrats who support the state attorney crying foul. Retaliatory. I would hope that's not what it is, but if they say it's an administrative thing, um, I would argue that they should change that. Protesters are expected here at the Capitol Thursday to deliver petitions to the governor asking him to send the death case back to the prosecutor. Organizers expect as many as a thousand people. Uh, there are people that don't support the death penalty. There are people that also feel that uh, Governor Scott uh, had a bit of an overreach. Governor Rick Scott had recommended a small increase for Ayala, but that was before she said she wouldn't seek death sentences. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.